Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be decluttering my powders, face powders. So we'll get started with these little ones here in the front. This is a uh, mineral veil. Whoop. From Bare Minerals. And so I'm going to keep that. I like to use this kind of uh, under my eyes to set my, uh, actually set all my powder, but kind of under the eyes to set the concealer. So that's a keeper. And then this is the e.l.f. high definition under eye setting powder. And I like that. It seems like it has just a subtle amount of shimmer that is not real noticeable like what glitter would be but I'll be keeping that and this is a Mary Kay translucent loose powder now this is what I've been using to set my concealer with lately and it works really good without making me look old under my eyes now this is my Rimmel my much loved Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder and I've hit pan on it so it's time to buy another one for when that one runs out because usually anything I've ever had once I hit pan um, most things usually start just crumbling apart and then this is the Tarte Smooth Operator loose powder and I'm not a big fan of this because you know it is micronized clay finishing powder so it kind of smells like dirt <laughs> but anyhow I like the brush that came with it I ordered it off QVC some time ago but we'll keep it anyway and then one of my favorites, the Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. And hit pan big time on it, but I have a backup, so that's a good thing. But this stuff really does work if you want to eliminate the look of large pores on your face. And I love this. I love the smell of this. I love how it finishes off my makeup it is the L'Oreal Hydra Perfect loose powder I have it in translucent and I love this stuff so I'll be keeping that and this L'Oreal true match powder uh, I have it in W2 light ivory and I've not used this a whole lot but the times that I have I like how it set my makeup so we'll be keeping that now this Ofra uh, pressed powder oil control I'm not used this much because when I put it on it looks like I have put white powder on my face. Seriously. So we'll set that aside to maybe either give it away or something. And then the Bye Bye Pores Illumination Powder is supposed to be the same as the other with just some illumination. And I'm not used it much because I've been using other stuff. But at the keeper. Now, this Ben Nye banana powder. I don't know what I was thinking when I got banana powder because it's yellow. But I'm thinking some of my foundations. That look kind of pink. I'm wondering if I could use this and maybe tone down that pink. 
make it look a little more yellowish. We'll keep that. Plus, I have it in the colorless, the neutral, white, colorless. And that's, that, that is going to last a while because that is a big bottle of loose powder. But we'll put that in the keeper pile. Now, in this little tray, I have an e.l.f. translucent mattifying powder. And I used it a lot. As you can see, I hit pan on it. I used it quite a bit. But it looks like it's turned dark. We'll get rid of that. I'll just trash that. And then this little pink outfit here is a concealer system by Mally and it has a setting powder and a cream concealer which I really liked. I really like the powder to this. Which the concealer's kind of dried up. But I'll be keeping that and use that powder. I'll put that out where I'll be using it. Get rid of it. And then the Revlon Nearly Naked Powder. I bought this when I got the Nearly Naked Foundation. And I have it in fair. So I'll be keeping that. And then this is the Fit Me Matte Poreless Powder. I have it in translucent. And so I'll be keeping that. Okay. This is a NYX HD finishing powder, and it's white like the Ofra, but it doesn't go on white like the Ofra, so I'll keep that. And these are a couple little samples that I got off of some website of the RCMA powder when it was selling big and it was sold out everywhere. I found a place that I had samples that... I could buy samples. So, uh, that works pretty good. Uh, don't seem to work as good on me as the younger girls, but I'll keep those. And this is a Your Minerals Loose Powder Transparent Veil. I think this came in a uh, boxy charm, maybe. But I liked it very well. So I'll be keeping that. And then I have a Too Faced Primed and Poreless. Um, I can't remember. I got this in with something. And when I used it, I used it a couple of times, but I don't remember if I liked it or not. I'm thinking I did. So we'll keep that. And then this is my Laura Geller. Uh, this is a Balance and Brighten foundation. I have it in fair. And I don't wear it as a foundation. I wear it as a face powder. And I love to set my makeup with this because it looks so nice. And uh, this is one of Laura Geller's best sellers. And it's really good. Okay, and then, last of all, is this CoverGirl True Blend uh, Translucent White Powder. This is not my favorite powder, but I like it good enough that I shall keep it. These two, one is for trash, and I'm not sure if I'll give the oh, for one away or or trash it. So these are the two I'll be getting rid of. And these are the ones that I will be keeping. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.